temporal glare, real-time dynamic simulation of the scattering in the human eye. Adding glare to an image can dramatically improve its perceived contrast, which was known to traditional artists for a long time and is often used in computer graphics today. Such glare has up to now been described as a static phenomenon only. However, humans perceive glare as a dynamic effect that most people describe as a colorful, pulsating, scaling and fluid-like pattern which we call temporal glare. Technically, glare is described as a point spread function due to the aperture of an optical system. We model temporal glare in terms of aperture functions describing the eye's transparency. First, the human pupil varies over time, the so-called pupillary hippus, causing the glare to rotate. Next, inside the crystalline lens, small particles scatter light. The movement of these particles is responsible for the pulsating effect and is caused by lens accommodations and lens microfluctuations. We embed the lens particles into a real-time mass spring simulation of the deforming crystalline lens. Here, a muscle acts on the green simulation node seen at right, giving rise to the specific nonlinear deformations of the particles seen on the left. Additional fine circular gratings in the lens give rise to the colorful rainbow-like ring seen here, which is called the lenticular halo. A second kind of particles in the vitreous adds a different kind of motion to the final result. We model those particles as embedded into a rigid body with damped dynamics. Optionally, eyelashes as an external source of glare can also be included, but they only explain some forms of temporal glare and are seen only under extreme conditions. We use a convolution to apply the PSF to an output image in real time. This allows correct results for light sources of a non-trivial shape such as this candle. Here no horizontal needles are observed. Only vertical needles can be seen for a light source of such a shape. In traditional animation, temporal glare has previously been used to convey brightness, as in this well-known example where the artist manually designed the temporal glare pattern. Our method allows to reproduce this effect, generating a similar pattern with similar movement, yet on a physical basis, for arbitrary scenes and in real time. Glare is preferred because the effect is closer to that experienced by a human eye, as opposed to the effect of glare seen through a camera's lens. We also conduct a study using the diverse stimuli now shown. The study shows that temporal glare is perceived as brighter than static glare and can therefore be used in a tone mapping context, providing improved depiction of bright pixels on a low dynamic range medium. In summary, this work has shown how to add temporal glare in real time to increase perceived contrast around bright lights. Motivated by the observation that glare is perceived moving by most subjects, we identified the sources of this glare movement inside the human eye due to different optical components such as the lens and vitreous particles or the pupillary hippos. A method to compute a time-varying aperture that describes the dynamic behavior of the human eye is our main contribution. Our implementation computes scattering due to such an aperture in real time. And finally, we conduct a study that describes how such glare is perceived as brighter than the glare previously used in computer graphics.